Hello guys, in this video we're gonna learn how to create a flying land. Okay, let's start here. So as you can see in the layers, there's lots of layers. So there's a mountain picture, a grass picture, waterfall, sky, people, river, tree, and a PNG of some birds. So let's turn off everything and keep the mountain. So basically, if you want a floating object, you just get a mountain and flip it. So go to edit, transform, and flip vertical, and now you have a floating object. So you can cut any mountain from any picture you want and just flip it and you would have this kind of floating land. So now go to the layers and let's turn on grass and put it on top. So we need to cut this kind of sand here. So let's get the pen tool and draw a very rough I'm just drawing it very fast, but I think it will work. So after you've done this, so right click on it, make selection, okay, then go to select, select and mask, and turn on smart radius, and increase it till about this much. So now the sand disappeared even in between the grass, so go down, and output to new layer, and press okay. And now you can actually delete the grass layer because there's a grass copy, which is this only. So now let's place it on top of this and control T to scale and transform and make it large. And this looks fine. Press enter. And now go down and get the river and place it on top and turn it on. So we need another river, like maybe one here. So let's get the pen tool and just cut this area and right click make selection okay and go to the layers and now press on mask so you would have only this so let's place it in a nice position Control t and make it a bit smaller and place it here this looks fine so now go to layers and press on the mask for rivers and get the brush and put it on black and make sure it has some softness so don't make it very hard and just start removing this make sure you have a black brush because you're coloring the white mask now we can zoom in and maybe make it a bit smaller and start blending in here Okay, this looks fine. So now we can actually go to layers and press on adjustment layers and add a color balance. And put it on cyan and then go to layers and right click on it and create clipping mask so it will only affect the river. So you can see here now they have the same color, maybe more. Okay, this looks fine. I think we should move it slightly here. And control T and just rotate it. I think it will have a better effect, yeah. This looks fine, press enter and go to layers and the mask and get the brush tool and zoom in with the black and just blend it in. And then get the stamp tool and hold alt and press here or here and just try to blend it as much as possible. This looks fine. Let's see. Yes. So now we should remove this as well. And this is fine. So now let's get the tree, place it up, and control T, make it smaller. And let's place it here. This looks fine. And now let's put the sky, turn it on, and control T and enlarge it. 
So as you can see from the rocks, the light is coming from the top right. So let's go to edit, transform and flip vertical. And then edit, transform and flip horizontal. So the light comes from the top right. Okay, so now let's turn on waterfall. So press on it and place it on top of everything and then put it on screen so the black disappears and just place it somewhere nice. Maybe this works. Okay, and now added adjustment layers from here, put color balance and put it on minus 100 cyan and then go to layers and right click on the color balance and create clipping mask. And now you can see some blues in the waterfall and get the eraser and I think 73 works, zero hardness and 40 opacity, okay. And click on the waterfall and just, we have to rasterize it first, right click rasterize layer and just blend it in. I think this is fine. So now click on this one here, hold alt and just shift and drag to copy it and edit, transform and flip horizontal and place it here on the second waterfall and now get the eraser tool again and put it on 100 hardness and just erase this. Make sure you have 100 opacity as well. Just do slight changes so it doesn't look like the first one. I put it on soft so we can just click a couple of clicks here so it doesn't look very hard. And this looks fine. Maybe decrease the opacity a little bit. Maybe more. And this is fine, okay. So let's continue. Go to people and turn it on and place it up. And control T and make it smaller. And place it here. Enter and now go to the birds, turn it on and place it up and place them in a nice position, maybe here. So there's a couple of birds here and there on the grass. So we get the eraser tool and right click on birds, rasterize layer and just erase them. And let's add a new layer. Let's name it extra grass to blend the people and the tree with the grass. Get the brushes. And I'm gonna go to the brush which I downloaded. The link is gonna be in the description below. It's called Grass Photoshop. So I already put one here with the size 35. So just zoom in and make sure you have a green color or you can Alt, hold Alt with the brush and just pick a color. I'm gonna pick a bright color and just place some of them here with 100 opacity. But first, before that, make sure the people is facing the sunlight. So go to edit transform and flip horizontal so the light comes from the right and then add more grass make sure you're on extra grass layer and add a dark color as well and then add some of here on the tree and then add a bright color and this is fine Zoom out and you'll have this more blended effect. And now let's add another layer. Let's name it shadows. So we can add a shadow for the people and the tree. And zoom in with the brush and make sure it's black this time and 15 size and give it some hardness like 15 only. And opacity put it on 21 because it's just a shadow. And draw the shadow here opposite to the light of course. And the head here and for the woman as well and do a couple of clicks here as well so it can become darker because it's just 121 opacity 
And a couple of clicks here. Always darker next to the people. And for the tree as well. This looks fine. And now click on shadow and hold shift and click on mountain so it clicks on everything and control T to scale and transform and make it a little bit smaller and place it in the middle because it looks better like this and press enter and now go to mountain and get adjustment layers and levels and decrease this white one till about this much so it becomes darker and move this one here so it have more contrast this looks fine so now go to layers and press on the mask of the levels and get the brush and put it on 1800 size and 15% hardness and 21% opacity and click a couple of clicks here and now right click on the levels and create clipping mask so it will affect only the mountain so now hold alt and just click on levels and drag on top of grass and right click on it and create clipping mask so now it will affect also the grass you have levels for grass and for the mountain and for this one here the waterfall which is this one just decrease the opacity and it will become a little bit darker and this is fine for the waterfall and for the people we should do the same thing levels adjustment levels and decrease this one becomes darker and then go to the layers and get the brush and add some light and then right click create clipping mask and you can decrease the size so it will add more light on the right this looks fine and now the same thing for the tree adjustments levels and give it some darkness and some contrast and then get the brush increase the size depending on the tree and press on the mask of levels and just add some light here and right click create clipping mask and add some more light and this looks fine and now we should add another layer let's pull this layers here Add another layer and adjustment layer and add gradient and in the gradient click on oranges and click on this one here and press ok and now change this one to black and change the angle this way so the light can be on the right and the dark on the left and ok and now change the blending mode to I think soft light and you'll have this nice effect so now you can see some mistakes here so when we change the effects the river on the right got messed up a little bit so you can zoom in and go to the river on the right I go to the mask and get the eraser not the eraser the brush with the black and just blend it in and decrease the size a little bit get the stamp tool and click here with holding alt and just blend it in this looks fine and now we added levels for everything except the sky so now we have to do the same thing but now hue and saturation for the mountain adjustment layers hue and saturation put the hue on minus 50 and saturation minus 50 and now you can see it's red on the left so go to the layers and go to the mask of the hue and the brush put it on a large size and do a couple of touches with 21 opacity on the right you can see the mask is becoming a little bit black so now you have yellow on the right and red on the left so hold alt and just copy this hue on top of grass so now the grass is also red on the left and yellow on the right so now do the same thing with the tree Add adjustment layers, hue and saturation, and minus 50, and saturation minus 50 as well. And you can see the tree is now red. But you can see this extra grass 
looks weird. So we have to actually drag the extra grass on top of tree. So now it will have the same effects as tree. And one last thing, we should go to waterfall copy, which is this one. And there's some green here, which I forgot to erase. Go to the eraser, erase it. And from waterfall, the second one, I need to connect it more with the river. So, so you can go to the grass layer and then zoom in and with the eraser tool just put it on 108 and erase just this part here with a soft brush and they will connect and now we can go to the waterfall and put the opacity a bit lower so it can blend with the rocks 59 works so let's get the brush now and put it on white and the hardness on 0% and the opacity on 40% and add some lightness on the river and then blend it with the waterfall then get the eraser and put the hardness also on 0% and remove the mistakes and blend it even more make sure the opacity is very low so it can blend okay so now let's go to the second river and add adjustment layers hue and saturation and put the hue on minus 68 and the saturation on minus 81 and the lightness on minus 21 and now you can see they both have the same colors both rivers and we, we should go to the second waterfall and put the opacity also low so it can blend with the rocks and now we need a lighting so let's zoom out and add an exposure on top of everything and put it on plus 0.40 and one more thing you can go to the tree and enlarge it, Control T. It can be in perspective to the humans much bigger. And go to the levels, and with the black brush, just add some more light. And then you can go to the waterfall, make a layer in between, and put it black and brush, and 15% opacity and 0% hardness, and just add some shadows. And we're done.